so far today and there's more coming with that additional storm. Now most of us are on the dry side. There are some storms that have fired up there around Saginaw. Computer models are suggesting that that stuff may start migrating south, but it's going to lose a lot of the coverage as it does. Now the model is fixated on that same area that we've been watching, so we'll have to pay close attention to it. But uh, to be uh, completely honest, uh, it didn't really initialize very well when this model was run, so we'll take it with a grain of salt. Anything out there should be gone by midnight tonight. Tomorrow when we get more of a north wind, uh, there's going to be a wave of low pressure coming through here, but a little bit less moisture to work with. So we don't anticipate that these storms are going to be quite as intense, uh, but there's still going to be some scattered showers around through the second half of Thursday. Then we're finally done with the rain, at least for the foreseeable future. Current temperatures where that rain has come down, pushing numbers there into the 70, 77 at City Airport. Still some 80s out there, but the cloud cover was a lot thicker, and that persistent rain earlier this afternoon kept your numbers in the south zone pretty cool. A lot of mid 70s down there. You can see out here on the west zone, some low 80s. Gregory at 83, one of the warmer numbers there. And even up in the north zone, Marlette 81, same in Sandusky, and cooler out there towards the lakeshore in the low 70s. Now the Humidity finally drops somewhat tomorrow, but it's really going to be Friday morning before we notice a difference, and that will stay that way through at least the first part of the holiday weekend. But by Saturday night into Sunday, the humidity comes back, and that's when temperatures are going to be rising as well. Before we get out of here, potential tropical cyclone five. It's well away from the U.S., but look at this forecast cone. Uh, it does have South Florida in the crosshairs, and of course, where they're dealing with that condo collapse down there, that is the worst thing that they could be uh, hoping for at this point. It looks like it is going to make land fall possibly in the Keys or South Florida by Monday. 67 tonight, high temperatures tomorrow, not even to 80. And again, the humidity drops, but it's going to be late. We notice a difference for the first half of the weekend. And guys, we're back to the heat and humidity, but without the storms on Monday.